Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday, December 30th, and we'd like to again start this day by offering a greeting to our Heavenly Parent and our true parents. Please join me in a half bow. Chunjin Champumunim Ke Kumbe Paro. Let us now invite up Milan Stevens to lead us in our family pledge. Kajang Mengse, Il, Chaneo Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Bonyang Tangul Jaja, Bonyane Changjo Yi Sangin, Jisang Chongukwa, Chonsang Chongugul, Changon Haukusul Mengse Hanaida. E. Chaneo Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Hanul Pumonimgua, Cham Pumonimul Moshio, Chonjue Te Pyojok Kajangi Temio, Jungshim Jok Kajangi Deo, Kajanga Sonan Hyoja, Kukae Sonan Jungshim, Sege Sonan Songin, Chonjue Sonan Songjae Kajangi Toridul, Wansong Harkusul Mengse Hanaida. Sam Chonel Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Sade Shim Jongongwa, Samde Wongongwa, Hong Jokwanul, Wansong Harkusul, Mengse Hanaida. Sa Chonil Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Hanul Pumunime, Changjo Yi Sangin, Chonju de Kajogul, Yong Sang Hayo, Jaiwa, Pyonghawa, Tongilgwa, Hengboge Segerul, Wansong Harkusul, Mengse Hanaida. O, Chanel Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Mail Ju Chejok Chan Sang Segewa, De Sang Jok Chisang Sege, Tongiril Yanghe, Chan Jin Jok Paljanul Chok Jin Mahal Kusul Meng Se Hanaida. Yuk, Chanel Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Hanul Pumonim Gua, Cham Pumonime, Te Shin Kajanguroso, Chanunul Umjiginen Kajungi Deo, Hanare Chukbogul Jubene, Yongel Shikinen Kajungul Wansong Harkusul, Mengse Hanaida. Chil Chanel Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Ponene Hyotongwa Yongel Dwen, We Hanen Sing Harul Tong Hayo, Shim Jung Munhua Segerul Wansong Harkusul, Mengse Hanaida. Pal Chanel Guk Juin, 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 전혀 극시대를 맞이하여 절대 신앙, 절대 사랑, 절대 복종으로 신인의 일체의 상을 이루어 지상 천국과 천상 천국의 해방권과 석방권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. Okay, for our opening prayer, uh, I would like to invite up Olga Majitova to offer that for us. Please unmute yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Makinsa. Uh, good morning, everybody. Please join me in prayer. Um, my dearest Hamlet parent, our true parents, uh, thank you so much for today, Hamlet parent, you are. Uh, you've given us tremendous blessings all the time, Hamlet Parent. You're opening the doors for us and you're waiting for us to enter, Hamlet Parent. You want us to understand your heart. You want us to give us your kingdom, Hamlet Parent, every single day. And you want us to invite everybody else to the kingdom, Hamlet Parent. And uh, um, I know uh, that we don't understand your heart the way I don't understand your heart the way... Um, I should or I can have the parenting. I pray that today uh, each one of us can um, make at least one step closer to have the parent. Whatever level we are, have the parent. We don't only feel you love, have the parent. We'll be able to be empowered and inspired to share your love today, have the parent. To take this lesson today, have the parent. Lesson of your heart, lesson of unity, uh, lesson of love between brothers and sisters, have the parents. A lesson of respect and um, and love towards your parents, have the parent, and share it today. Uh, with 
somebody else I'm the parent, at least one person. Thank you so much. I pray for our true mother's health as always. And I pray with our unity with you, with true parents, with our leaders. And I want to offer this prayer uh, for the successful morning devotion in true parents' name. Uh, Ju. Uh, Ju. Thank you so much, Olga. So next, um, let's go into our appreciations. Uh, so let's take six minutes to connect with each other in heart. And those who are watching also take the time to reflect on things you appreciate. And if you're with anybody, uh, please feel free to share <coughs> with each other.
Okay, welcome back, everybody. So today, I wanted to invite up to start us off with appreciations, Roland Platt. He's with his family today, but I'd like to invite Roland to share. Okay, good morning. Good morning, all brothers and sisters. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really deeply grateful, uh, fundamentally, fundamentally grateful for Dr. Young uh, for being such a such a great educator and not just a leader who is guiding us, giving us direction, telling us what to do, but he is really raising, raising our hearts. And uh, almost every morning I feel like, feel like he's a spring, like a spring, spring of life, I guess a bubbling spring of water that just flows and it keeps flowing and, uh, and is always fresh and is always new and renews, renews everything that it touches. Um, sometimes I try to imagine, well, if, if I were asked to do morning devotion, I'd probably run out of new content after a week. <laughs> but Dr. Young is always new. And um, yeah, he's really, really, really an educator. I, always, I think Dr. Reverend Sudo used to tell us there's two ways to change people. Uh, one way is to kind of point out and tell them what's wrong. And uh, the other way is to show a higher level, a higher standard of heart. And that's what Dr. Young is doing. And that's what I'm feeling, feeling every day. Desire, actually desire to change. And wow, I have so much more to grow. And I cannot wait to see what I'm excited about uh, 2021. is just to see what's going to come out of this. Because I know when, when there's huge outpouring of investment of education, then huge results are going to come and i feel like we're making center on dr young a foundation of faith and then uh yeah foundation of substance will follow like we all feel empowered to reach out and to impact hundreds thousands millions of people so thank you thank you roland yeah, yeah always on the front line uh this family so thank, thank you. you for that thank you roland thank you so much thank you and I'd like to invite up next uh, Natsumi Kajisa, if you can uh, share and unmute yourself. Well, hello, good morning. Um, I'm Natsumi from Tennessee. This is my mom. <laughs> um, so during this COVID time, uh, a lot of things have changed and I'm um, living with my parents now. Uh, and I've been also matched and blessed and um, I'm second gen, <laughs> uh, and you know, it's it's been really great experience joining a morning devotion with my mom. Um, she asked me to help translate for them in order to talk to like the state leader about my brother's matching and blessing, and um, uh, she couldn't find anyone else at the moment. So I I helped them be like the major translator and communication for them so that my brother uh my brother's fiance or matches parents can communicate with my parents because they're japanese and my brother's family is english and hispanic so um i've had a really great experience trying to you know understand and help my parents and how their hearts in wanting to make the matching and blessing work. And I'm really grateful that I was able to be part of that experience. You know, it was really rocky at first in trying to um, get on the same page and make sure that we're all unified and working together in order for um, my brother's match to work. And um, I really felt like God's suffering heart at some points because it was so frustrating. Um, that we we weren't able to unite together but through morning devotion and listening to dr yong and um and about god's heart we really we were grateful for this experience and that was i felt that was really able to grow so thank you so much <laughs> wow thank you so much Natsumi, for sharing um yeah that's beautiful i, I felt a few tears coming out just like as a parent having children to support in such an important process how precious it must be for for also the parents to have your support in that way 
and your brother will forever be indebted to you. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I was uh, also reflecting briefly. Um, uh, yesterday was a, a long day for me, uh, 14 hours straight, 12 meetings back to back. Um, but then I was thinking about, you know, Dr. Yong and how, how much more he must be caring in terms of responsibility. Um, but I appreciate that he's always excited and enthusiastic, no matter what. <laughs> he's like a, a young, young boy, you know, it's like, oh, I can't wait for the next 40 days. Um, so no matter what's going on, he stays really excited. And I really appreciate that because it, it also gives me uh, excitement and hope for what's to come. So just wanted to share that. And um, yeah, so let's turn to Dr. Yong to lead us in the morning devotion today. Um, 안녕하세요. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My dear brothers and sisters, Ohayo gozaimasu. Ni hao ma. Magandang umaga po. Sainyong lahat. Sawadika. As you know, today is the second and last day of this year. So I'd like to request to each one of the blessed family, our second generation, all our brothers and sisters, you see now the COVID virus is very, very serious everywhere. And I heard that some of the blessed family also got a virus, even some of the, our beloved, our second generation also got a virus. I think, uh, of course, now we can see, you know, the many people now receiving the vaccine, but uh, we still have to be really careful and then we need to care each other. And then I think, uh, I think especially about the January next year, January, uh, before uh, most of the most of the people receiving the vaccine, we still have to be very be careful about uh, uh, you know coronavirus. Uh, yesterday, um, I'm talking about: uh, Do you really want to become God's sons and daughters? And then what's the best way to become God's sons and daughters yesterday I'm talking about? Father said, as a children, you need to have God's Han. God's Han means God's Peter Sorrow. When you understand your parents' reality, your parents' miserable situation, your parents' really incredible sorrowful heart. Any children, they clearly understand and then they have determination to solve the problem. That is the attitude of the children. You know that since Adam and Eve fell, how much our Heavenly Father gone through incredible hardships and pain, incredible suffering. He has a heart, which is uh, his bitter heart. That's why his bitter heart, his heart should be my heart, should be my Peter heart as a child. So if we are more sorrowful than my own parents, if we are more sorrowful than God, then finally our God, our heavenly parents can liberate. Uh, so that's why Father, since he met God and he realized that God is a God of sorrowful God. Therefore, God's hand become his driving force. 
he's driving first. Whenever he thinks God's hard, always he strong determination. No time to get a, a tiredness. Always moving forward. God's hand become his one of the main driving force. Therefore, you know, we are children of true parents, children of God. Therefore, God's Peter Han, uh, Peter Han, which is his Han, should be the mainspring of our activity. God's Han have to be our main motivation to go forward. What makes the engine go? What's the first one? The engine go. That is God's hand. Secondly, that also God's hand. Thirdly, it also God's hand. So, you know, I think God's uh, Peter Han was the really one of the motivator for true parents. That's why God's Peter Han, a Peter Hart, and God's Han, and our true parents, Peter Hart, which is his Han, our Jesus could not see his dream, could not realize his dream. His vision should be his hand. His Peter heart should be my Peter heart. Should be my hand. Then, Father say, you can become God's son and daughters. Wow. So I am telling you that. Then, true mother already declared the second seven years son in the course. How to make it successful? What should be our, you know, motivator? What should be our driving force? That is God's hand. That is our true parent's hand. That is our Jesus' hand. Then, without any tiredness, without any hesitation, we really can go forward. That's why keeping in our heart, living with our God's heart, it is really, really important. Always make you together incredible power. Today, I'd like to talk about what is the center of character? Very important also, Father, talking about. Uh, honey, is there? Please read. What is the center of character? What is the center of God's character which you have been pursuing throughout your life? It is not the truth. The center is heart. You need to enter a state where you can transcend the limit of your heart. If you enter such a state, you cannot even feel the pain of death. Even at the moment of your death, you will forget the pain of death and rest in the embrace of Father's love. You need to become such a person if there is a person who ends his or her life like that, he or she is the one who goes to the spirit world with the best gift, which no one could receive among those who were born and passed away from this earth. Thank you, honey. And father said, what is the center of character. Just now what father said? It is not the truth. The center is heart. Why? Very important father's uh, declaration. 
What's the center of character? The center is heart of the character. Then, what's the center of the God's word? We are studying God's word. Father asks us to do fundoke all the time. Then what's the purpose of studying God's word? What's the center of the God's word? Father said, the center of the God's word is character. I want to be a good character. I want to carry great personality. You know, that's why the center of the God's word is character. I want to be. The purpose of studying God's word is uh, how can I become embodiment of God's word, which is character. Embodiment of God's word is to become great character, God's character, God's personality. Then, what is the center of character? Father, Father just now say that. That is not the truth. Hmm? The center of the truth is character. Then the center of the character is what? Father said, that is heart. The center is heart. Then, what is the center of the, I don't know, okay. Here talking about the, what is the center of the character? The center of the character is Father saying, if I'm talking about the heart, but people heart, talking about the love. The center of the character is the how can I become man of true love, woman of true love. Then, what is the center of God's love? Center of the God's love, what is the, which one is more deeper than love? Father said very clearly, there is heart. Then what kind of the heart does God have? This is important, <clears throat> you know? So Father saying that the center is a heart. You know, heart is very, very important. Then what kind of the heart does God have? Actually, you know, before the creation, what kind of God's heart does he have? His, his uh, heart was a uh, heart filled with hope and dream. Before creating human beings, before creating all things, he was so excited. Whenever he think about his dream, his vision, his heart is full of hope, full of dream. You know, that much God is so much hopeful, very much promising, so excited. Even he himself cannot imagine how much he was excited. Then was, uh, you know, before the creation here, he was a really hope. He was a heart. Uh, filled with incredible hope and dream. Then, what is God's heart at the time of the creation? When he created one by one, each item of the old things, he said, it is, very, it is good. And then he created another thing. It is really, really good. Finally, he created Adam and Eve. He said, it is so good. Almost he cannot control. So at the time of creation, God was uh, filled with joy, incredible uh, joy and delight. Almost he cannot control himself. He was that much joy and delight. But because of the fall, what was God's heart after the fall, after Adam and Eve fall? What he was, you know, heart? 
his heart was out of unimaginable sorrow. Incredible sadness. How much he was disappointed. How much he was frustrated. Incredible. You know, driving, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, driving the nail to his heart. Incredible. Then what was the uh, God's heart in the process of restoration? He was a heart of the pain and Peter heart and waited and waited. His children come back. <clears throat> How much Heavenly Father invested? How much Heavenly Father put his heart? You know, ceaselessly. Incredible. That's why the restoration cause is a cause of God's hand. Cause of God's hand. His Peter heart. We need to understand about that. What is the center of character? The center of the character is heart. What kind of the heart? Not joyful heart because of the fall. Not joyful heart. Not grateful heart now. Since Adam and you fall, his heart is bitter heart. He has incredible heart. Not yet fulfilled his dream. Not yet resolve his dream. That is really his sorrowful heart. Then, what is the measure of a character? We are talking about the character, personality. Father said, the measure of a character is how much you live with God's sorrowful heart. When we're talking about you have a good character, you have a great personality. But when we're talking about a good character, good person, you, you really innocent, but even though you have a good character, even outside the people teaching you have to be good guy. All religion teaching about how to become good character, good person. However, even though you are such a good guy, good boy, good girl, good carry and good character, great personality, never come in sin. However, you do not know God. You do not know God's sorrowful heart. What are you talking about? You are a good guy. What are you talking about? You are an innocent guy. Innocent. Without experiencing God's sorrowful heart. Without talking about God's heart, even though you are such a good God, innocent God, that does not make any sense. That's why Father talking about here. The center of the character is heart. What kind of a heart? God's heart. What's the situation of God's heart? He has sorrowful heart. It's a good guy. Good character means you are the one who carry God's sorrowful heart. You are the one who live with God's sorrowful heart all the time. That's why. How to measure? You have a good character. You have a good personality. How to measure? What is the standard of the measurement, measurement for our you know, character or personality? Not by morality, not by power, not by standard of the innocent. How was the measure of 
the character. How to measure you are a good guy or not? In terms of the God, so sorrowful heart. You are good boy, good girl. You are incredibly great man and woman. What's the measurement? How much do you understand? God, a sorrowful heart. And then, how much you console his heart? How much comfort his heart? How much you understand true parents' bitter heart? As a Christianity, how much do you understand Jesus' sorrowful heart? He could not realize his dream. And then I carry his sorrowfulness, his bitter heart, his heart. That's why I, I no matter what, I want to realize Jesus' dream. Therefore, no matter what, I want to support through parents' dream. That is true Christianity. Without inheritance, without inheritance of Jesus' heart, we cannot be true Christianity. True Christian. Without inheriting true parents' sorrowful heart, which is a true parents' heart, I cannot be a true parents' son and daughters. I cannot be a good person. Many outside people say, you are a good person, good person, good person. Become very, very humanistic. Even though youth guy, no commit sin. However, you do not know God's heart. He's a sorrowful heart. Your parents are sorrowful heart. You are nothing. You are nothing. Just only good. Without connecting God's sorrowful heart, your father and mother suffering so much. Incredible pain. His heart is really aching, but I cannot feel anything. I just good. I never commit sin. I make good friend with my brothers and sister, my neighbor, my friend, my parents. That's not heavenly standard. You are good guy. What the heavenly standard of the good guy? Good character. What's the major of the character? That is how much you live with God's sorrowful heart. We can say that you are really have true character. Great personality. Our personality, our character, need to resemble God's heart. If God is a sorrowful heart, I need to inherit his sorrowful heart. Otherwise, forever, nothing dealing with God. God is a sorrow. I don't care his sorrow. I am very happy. I can focus on whatever I want. I focus on whatever, whatever I like. It. Doesn't matter at all with God's heart. Then, then what I'm talking about, you are a good guy. Father said, what is the ignorance of the ignorance? Do not know God. Do not know God's heart. Even outside the people, many people keeping purity. Many people uh, do not do any bad things. Good guy. However, what is the standard of the measurement of your character? <laughs> We came to understand how much do you experience God's sorrowful heart? How much do you live with God's sorrowful heart? That 
is the what is that? The standard of the measurement for your character. Wow. Our father is a really amazing man. That's why he is the one who carry on. Oh, always his sorrowful heart. That's why we can say that. We can say that he is really God's begotten son. God's begotten son. Begotten son means what? Only he's the one who truly understands God's sorrowful heart. Nobody. No one knows God's heart. God's begotten daughter means what? Among the women, since Adam and Eve fall, among women. Only he is the one who truly, truly understands God's bitter heart. We need to understand what is the begotten sons and daughters. Only son and daughters. What, what are you talking about? Oh, just only P position is begotten son and begotten daughter. Uh, that's why they are the Messiah. That's why they are true father and true mother. What's the main point of the begotten son means? What's the main point begotten daughter means? In terms of a heart, they are the one who only know. God's sorrowful heart. That's why when we have talk, when, whenever Father talking about always tears and tears and tears and tears, wailing and wailing and wailing, and of whenever Mother deliver, always some moment, always cry and cry. Why? She is a begotten daughter. Begotten daughter means what? She is the one who truly understands God's sorrowful heart, God's situation, God's dream. From her born, from her born marrow, over all women since Adam and Eve fall, over all women who truly understand God's sorrowful heart. That's why Baba said, I am the one who knows God's sorrowful heart. He is my parent. That's why I am saying, I am telling you, I declaring to you. I am, I am O, not I am O, not I am A. I am the begotten daughter. We need to understand just external begotten daughter, begotten son, what are you talking about? There's nothing dealing with God's heart does not make any sense. Does not make any sense. My dear brothers and sisters, truly understand what the begotten sons and begotten daughter means. Throughout the human history, who really understand God's heart that much? Who is the one who really introduced God's heart that much? Who is the one who live with God's sorrowful heart that much? No one else. Tell me, among all saints and saints, who is the one who introduced God's sorrowful heart? Please tell me, introduce. I can I want to inherit from that guy. But so far, nobody. Any religious founder talking about God's sorrowful heart? Tell me, any religion, any denomination talking about God's sorrowful heart? No one else. Only Mun Sun Myung, Han Apja, our begotten son and begotten daughter, they are the one only talking about God's sorrowful heart. They are only talking about consolation, liberation, comfort about God. That's why how, how can we deny Reverend Moon, Mrs. Moon, they are the Messiah, true parents. How can you deny? How can you deny they are begotten sons and daughters? How can you deny about it? This is the reality. 
Trump mother is begotten daughter. This is the reality. Who loves God more than her? Tell me. Tell me. Who is the one who introduced God's sorrow of heart? Tell me. Therefore, I am really proud of true father, true mother. I no doubt at all they are begotten son and begotten daughter. And then father said, you need to enter the a state where you where you can transcend the limit of the, your heart. Very, very important. What does it what father is talking about? You need to enter the a state where you can transcend the limit of your heart. Our heart is a limitation. Fallen man's heart is a limitation. However, if you beyond your humanistic heart, enter the world of God's heart, completely different, different world. You need to enter the, that kind of state where you can transcend the limit of your heart. You need to enter the world of God's heart. Now, I am not talking about the, the foundation of the faith. I am not talking about the foundation of substance. You need to enter foundation of heart. As soon as you step in your legs, enter the God's world of the heart, come pretty different world. That's why our goal is what? How to enter the world of God's heart? You know, to enter the car, you know, to enter the world of God's heart. Everybody feel that. God's heart. God's dream. God's hope. Everybody understand God's current situation of his heart. Father said, if you enter, what does enter such a state means what? When you enter the world of God's heart, foundation of the heart, you cannot even feel the pain of death. Oh my God. So when you enter the world of God's heart means already overcome top of the cross stage already. Your level already entered the world of the foundation of heart. Different level. Father said, if you enter such a state, it means already beyond top of the gross stage. Your heart become divine spirit. You already enter the world of God's heart and really understand his heart is my heart. My heart is his heart. His pain is my pain. My pain is his pain. Completely become oneness. Then you cannot even feel the pain of death. Wow. And Father said, even at the moment of your death, you will forget the pain of death and rest in embrace of Father's love. You need to become a, such a person. Oh my God. Father said, you will forget the pain of death. That's why when Jesus crucified on the cross, many stupid people saying that because Jesus is also a human being, he feels so much pain. That's why he said, Heavenly Father, why you abandon me? Do not forsake me. Huh? How much they misunderstand about that? Jesus already entered the state about God's word of heart. That's why Father said, even at the moment of your death, you will forget the pain of death. I can die even 10 times, 100 times, 100, 100 times, even 1,000 times for the sake of God's will. Why I pray? Why Heavenly Father abandon me? I really want to survive on the earth. I, want to, I am the one who need to liberate your heart. I want to liberate all mankind. I cannot die, Heavenly Father. He has that kind of Peter feeling. He never scared. 
Roman soldiers killing him, he never scared. Because he is the one who truly understands God's heart. His, oh, his own hope is what? If I die, who liberate God's heart? His heart. Who liberate, you know, all mankind's heart? Only he concern God's will. However, through my sacrifice, there is the way to save the old mankind. Let me die. This is your will. I will absolutely follow. Wow. Jesus is actually amazing man. He has messianic character. He has a messianic heart. Otherwise, how he crucified on the cross? How? Father said, if you enter such God's world, world of heart, he said, you can forget the pain of death. And because he feels so much pain and bleeding, bleeding, that's why he's shouting like that. How much stupid understanding about Jesus? Jesus, why you look down Jesus in such a way? Jesus value it like that? Then how can he save all mankind? How can he liberate all mankind? How much stupid thinking it is? Father said, if there is a person who ends his or her life like that, he or she is the one who goes to the spiritual world with the best gift which no one could receive among those who were born and passed away from this earth. What's the best gift? When you go to spiritual world, what's the best gift? One who truly understands God's sort of heart and then living together with God and then participating his providence to liberate all mankind. Liberate God, liberate hell. Truly understand God's sorrowful heart, which is a bitter heart. Father said, when you die with such kind of the heart, that is the best gift. Please read. The highest state which is able to overcome all pain. On the way to the cross, Jesus prayed, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. The state where he could pray in this way is the highest state. This is the state which is able to overcome all pain with God's heart. Then... How can we reach such a state which is able to attain the power to overcome the realm of death on this earth? That is what matters. Thank you, honey. The highest state which is able to overcome all. Father said, on the way the cross, Jesus prayed, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet, not what I want, but what you want. The state where he could pray in this way is the highest state. This is the state which is able to overcome all pain with God's heart. How he overcome that kind of pain? Jesus, he is the one who truly understands God's sorrowful heart. That's why my pain is nothing compared to God's pain. When he feels so for God is more suffer than me. God is more painful than me. That's why he could overcome any pain when he compare with God's sorrow, God's pain. So how do I overcome my own pain in my daily life, in my life of faith? When I feel pain,
pain, I need to feel God's pain. I need to feel through parents' pain. I compare to God's pain and through parents' pain. My pain is nothing. That's why Jesus could overcome his own cross for the sake of God, for the sake of all mankind. This is the secret of how to overcome our pain, my sorrow, my difficulties. The reason why Jesus was uh, able to overcome the unimaginable pain of the cross was because he's experiencing God's sorrowful heart. Wow. Even though Jesus did not, did not express God's sorrowful heart, but he really understands God's sorrowful heart. That's why he could overcome such a trial, such about a heavy cause overcome any pain. If Jesus was just a saint or a noble man, he could not carry the cross, Noah. If you carry the cross like Jesus without knowing God's sorrowful heart, you rebel like the left thief. Fallen nature appear and there will be a lot of complaint. That's why those who do not understand God's heart, those who do not experience God's heart, when about the difficulty come and trial come and all kind of the fallen nature come out. No grateful. Cannot compare to God's heart. No, no thinking about God's heart. No thinking about true parents suffering and difficulties. And easily tired, easily fall down, easily complain, easily judge, easily kill people. All problem comes from where? Lack of understanding God's sorrowful heart. When a person faces difficulties and adversities, all his her fallen nature is revealed. Yeah? Is it so? Yes. Then how to overcome my difficulties and adversities, all the problems? Only one way need to experience God's sorrowful heart. How to experience God's sorrowful heart? I repeat and again and again. First of all, you need to listen a lot of his situation. He is a sorrowful situation. He's a heart, sorrowful heart. You need to listen a lot of what his situation, his reality. And you need to study his word a lot. Number three, you need to go to front of life directly. You need to witness. Need to suffer. Need to participate in God's providence. Therefore, the true offering is offering of a heart. It's the best offering of a heart to know and comfort God's sorrowful heart. What's the best offering? Not money. Not any gift. What's the greatest offering? Offering my heart. I am the one who understands God's sorrowful heart. Truly, I want to comfort him, console him, want to liberate him. That kind of the heart can be a true offering to God as a filial sons and daughters. Jesus was a rather concerned about God's will and comfort him at the place of the cross. So, this condition became a condition for the right to repent and be resurrected. Wow! All disciples ran away. His, even his family members ran away. Those who follow this, everybody ran away. However, on the cross, when he really consoled God's heart, Heavenly Father, I can die anytime, but I worry about you, Heavenly Father. How much you will cry after I die? Let me survive here, Heavenly Father. Truly, truly he pray with his tears. <laughs> and then rise and deep hear God to such a prayer. Oh my God, who is this guy? Under that situation, pray for God and console him and then forgive his enemy. Who is this guy? His behavior should be 
behavior of the Messiah. That's why I confess you, you are my savior. Father said, even one person do not recognize that come the Jesus true heart. Jesus no condition to resurrect. A perfect plus create a perfect minus. Since Jesus became the uh, became an offering of God's heart, the right thief who was his object repented and became a disciple of Jesus. Perfect plus create perfect minus. When I become true object partner of the God's soul of the heart, I can create another object, object partner in front of me. My cane become that much support me, that much console me, that much comfort me. If I 70% console God's soul of the heart, definitely I can create that kind of 70% object partner who can console me, who can comfort me. That's why Father said, a perfect plus create perfect minus. Cain does not matter. How much I become completed perfect minus in front of God, then much I can create perfect of their partner. As much as I shed tears, I, could, I can create my object partner that much can cry for me. That's why issue is not object partner. I first of all should be object partner in front of God. As much as I, I shed tears as a parent, I can make my children cry. I can make my cane can cry. Then, we can recreate anyone. If you experience God's sorrow of heart, you can overcome death and any difficulties. Wow. God's sorrow of heart is what? My driving force. My main, a main motivator. Let's really understand God's heart, his sorrowful heart, become my main motivator to go forward. Next seven years course, definitely we need to accomplish God's will. My dear brothers and sisters, now second last day of this year, what so far we have done, something we need to repent, or something we need to really re settle down, and then make strong determination to fulfill God's will, uniting with uniting with the true mother's heart. Thank you very much, my brothers and sisters. Kamsahamida. Thank you, Dr. Young. Thank you, brothers and sisters. I believe we have a special treat today. Can we uh, welcome up our musical you want it? Heavenly Green? Good morning. I'm sitting all over here. You have to, yeah, Mrs. Green, please turn off your microphone. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 Turn off your other phone, please. <laughs> there we go. Hey. No, you, hmm. Better choose someone, other one. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 Um, looks like the sound is, yeah. Reverend Green, are you okay? Okay. I see it. I hear. Yes. Uh, can you hear me clearly, uh, President Aokimi? Yeah, now we can hear you. Okay, thank you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Morning. 
Today, Mrs. Green and I would like to share a very special song with all our brothers and sisters around the world. In 2006, our true mother came to the island of Jamaica. It was just after the entrance ceremony in Korea that she began her world tour in Jamaica. So I'd like to sing a song this morning to celebrate mother's visit to our island of Jamaica. The title of the song is called Island in the Sun. <clears throat> Dr. Young, I also want to thank you so much for an incredible message that you gave this morning. My heart was deeply touched by every word that you uttered. It thank came you. from the heart of God. Thank you. Song is called this is my island in the sun where my people have toiled since time began though i may sail on many a seas her shores would always be home to me oh island in the sun will to me by my father's hand all my days I will sing in praise of your forest waters, your shining sand. As morning breaks the heaven and high, I lift my heavy load up to the sky. Sun comes down with a burning glow, mingles my sweat with the earth below. Hey. O oh, island in the sun, will to me by my father's hand. All my days I will sing in praise of your forest waters, your shining sand. I see woman on bended knees, cutting cane for her family. I see man by the water side. Casting nets in the surging tide. Yay! Oh, I land in the sun. Will to me by my father's hand. All my days I will sing in praise of your forest waters, your shining sand. I pray the day will never come that I can't awake to the sounds of drums. Never let me miss carnival. Sing a lips a song philosophical. Oh, I learn in the sun. Will to me by my father's hand. All my days I will sing in praise of your forest waters, your shining sand. All my days I will sing in praise of your forest waters, your shining sand. All my days I will sing in praise of your forest waters, your shining sand. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> Hallelujah. I feel like I'm in Jamaica. Yeah. Um, thank you. Okay, brothers and sisters, with that joyful spirit, let's go into our reflections. Um, yeah, please reflect on any insight or takeaway from this morning's devotion. Uh, those who are watching also <clears throat> yeah, take this moment to, to reflect and share with those who are with you. Take five minutes.
Welcome back, everybody. Yes, uh, I had the pleasure of being with the Pierre Louis couple and the Heavenly Greens, um, as well as Ryusei Taguchi. So today, I'd like to invite up actually Ryusei Taguchi from Maryland, second generation, to share his reflection from this morning's devotion. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, my reflection, uh, as is every day, I feel like, is that uh, through Dr. Young's series about God's sorrowful heart, there's actually so little that I understand about my faith, even though I've done two years of mission. Uh, but it's still an exciting journey because there's so much to learn. And it's definitely not discouraging because I feel like I'm at the starting line again, and it's like a new race, you know? Um, Today, especially, uh, especially going into the new year, I'm reflecting again about what is truly at my center. Because uh, I feel like I had true parents at my center or, or God at my center or uh, my own passions and convictions. But uh, in reality, I feel like the core was so distant from uh, God's self heart. And that's why there are times when I get lazy or when I lose focus. Uh, so I really want to come back to that. And I really want to study more of Dr. Young's teachings so that I can understand that fully uh, and really connect with God's heart and God's sorrow for this next year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Say he's one of the staff for one of the winter workshops going on. So he, he shared also. Beautiful. One. His heart is, uh, he just sharing is a really, really beautiful. Yeah. I agree. He wants to convey that to the youth that are part of the workshop as well. Okay, everyone. Um, so I want to invite us to close this out in prayer. Um, Victor Martinez from Canada, I believe Toronto. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Please join me in prayer. Our dear Heavenly Parents and our two parents, we're very grateful for the opportunity to hear your words and your guidance anew, giving us new hope and encouraging us to continue to aspire to be better individuals and better children of yours that can understand your heart. We're very grateful for these new days that our two parents have opened for us through Dr. Young and have given us a new understanding and inspiration to seek your words and seek your heart so that we can be one with you and we can be one with our two parents as well. I'm very grateful to share these moments, these days with our brothers and sisters who likewise long for your love and long for your presence and long for our two parents wish to be fulfilled. We pray that we can become such filial children of yours that aim to fulfill your will. Thank you, Heavenly Parents, for this opportunity that you have presented to us. We pray that we can embrace this and move forward in one direction, in the same direction with the will of heaven. We offer this prayer and at this day and everything back to you and our deepest gratitude to you and to our true friends. We pray all these in the names of all the brothers and sisters who are gathered here with us. And in our names, Victor and Reiko Martinez, a blessing to our family. Adieu. 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 All right. Thank you, everyone, for another wonderful uh, morning devotion time together. Again, your presence is so precious, uh, and your condition of Jungsung <coughs> together will really bring victory for North America and the world. So have a great day, victorious mm. day, and we'll see you again. Bright and early tomorrow. Wow. Yes. Hamida, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.